Ever wondered who would win in a fight between an emu and a cassowary? This question is part of our Who Would Win video series, where we get wildlife experts to dream up hypothetical battles between animals, all in the name of science. Our first contender is the southern cassowary, the only Australian cassowary species it lives in the rainforests of far north Queensland. It's known to fiercely guard its territory and can weigh as much as 80 kilograms. A kick with the cassowary's claws would end any fight. With one short jump up and down come three sharp claws, the innermost claw a 12 cm spike-like dagger. On the other side, we've got the emu, weighing in at up to 40 kilograms. The emu is happy almost anywhere. It will live in most habitats, eat many foods, and travel between landscapes with ease. Oh, and it defeated the Australian military in the Great Emu War of 1932. So emus have a pretty good track record in a fight, and we'll get to that later. What the emu lacks in weight, it gains in speed and agility. It can leave you in the dust, off at 50 kilometers per hour. They're also armed with a decent set of claws, and they aren't afraid to use them. Emus and cassowaries aren't likely to meet today, but around 6,000 years ago, emus probably lived further north along Australia's east coast, right into cassowary territory. And so the fight begins. The emu picks up speed towards the cassowary. The cassowary stands its ground, stomping its feet and grunting to warn the emu. The emu circles, looking like it will take the cassowary by surprise. It lands a quick kick to the chest. But the cassowary kicks back. It's a brutal blow, ending in a cloud of feathers and a terrified looking emu. The emu's quick kicks are no match for the weight behind the cassowary's kick and its enormous, daggered claw. Now that might seem like a quick, unexciting knockout, but the emu is nothing if not resilient and the Great Emu War of 1932 will attest to that. Emus were undeterred by an Australian military armed with machine guns. They outran and outmaneuvered all attempts to control them in pastoral land. Today, the cassowary is an endangered species after suffering a significant loss of suitable habitat. Meanwhile, the emu's range has expanded across most of the continent, thanks to its generalist nature. So yes, the cassowary might make short work of the emu one-on-one, -on -one, but the resilient emu has the cassowary outnumbered by far. And a solo cassowary is no match for a mob of emus.